What's going on, y'all? It's your boy G.E. -E here. Welcome back to another episode of Random Bars. Unfortunately, I started the recording after I started the battle, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into this battle with Alan real quick, and then I'll talk to y'all. So he's got Decidueye, Arcanine, Garchomp, Alolan Muck, Porygon 2, and Tapu Fini. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, hmm, let's see. Porygon 2 is a little interesting here. Do I think he's going to go with the Trick Room option? Maybe. I got an answer for that though. His name is Lucario, so I'll lead Lucario. That leaves me really weak to a lot of his squad, mainly Garchomp and Arcanine. So, um, let's see here. I like, I like Neoligo a lot, and then Gyarados in the back to switch in on a potential uh, Earthquake or something like that. Then I think I like Tapu Koko a little more than Kartana, just because Kartana doesn't really do well against, Gar uh, against uh, Arcanine at all. Vanillux could be interesting too, but again, Arcanine answers that pretty well. So, for those of you that don't know, Random Bars is where I just have any random Pokemon battle. It could be on Showdown, could be on the cartridge. Although, in the future, I'm going to try to have it on the cartridge as much as possible because I just think it looks a lot better, especially with Sun and Moon out, man. Anyway, we're battling Pokemon Trainer Alan, and in Random Bars, I have a battle, and then I spit some random bars at the end that are purely inspired by this one single battle. So, it's an exclusive rap that y'all gonna hear based on what we're gonna see together starting right now. So he's got Arcanine and Tapu Fini, so Lucario is dead weight here, but if he had led Porygon 2 instead of the Trick Room, I would have been screwed. So I needed to uh, go ahead and send out my Lucario there, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch out now into the Gyarados, pretty safe switch. Get the Intimidate on the Arcanine, could be useful, but most likely it's especially attacking Arcanine, but you never know. And, uh, let's see, Tapu, Fini, and Arcanine are both weak to my stabs on Nihiligo, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Tapu, Fini, just cause he's a little more dangerous. He can hit me with a super effective, uh, Muddy Water, or any Water Stab, whereas Arcanine, unless he's running Bulldoze, uh, can't really hurt, uh, my Mons that are switching in here. Then again, his Arcanine might know Wild Charge, so that would be scary, cause it could hit the Gyarados, but that would be a really, really hard read to make on turn one and i don't think alan's about that life so he's gonna set up that uh what which which terrain is this called again i don't know it's the it's the top of Fini one where you don't get status by anything he's gonna switch out his top of Fini though fearing my sludge bomb going into his garchomp good play avoiding the ever so important intimidate too but my bomb is gonna hit him up and break that potential sash probably not sash though not a lot of people run sash anymore he flamethrowers into the lucario so not a bad turn at all for me I would have really liked to get the Intimidate off on that Garchomp, but uh, at least I got some chip damage off on him, and I'm in a pretty good position here. Both of my mons pressure his Arcanine severely, and he showed the Flamethrower, so I highly doubt he's running any form of Wild Charge, so I don't have to worry about that. I do, however, have to worry about Garchomp going for an Earthquake here, so I'm just going to go ahead and Dragon Dance up, not even allow him to... Uh, get an earthquake up because i'm going to protect my knee illegal here and uh dragon dance so now both of my mons will outspeed the guard chomp unless of course he's running uh scarf chomp which i guess we'll find out here but i'm going to protect my knee illegal and boost up with my gyarados plus one he switched his arcanine out though which is kind of scary as he rock slides here um so even if he is scarfed it's not gonna take out my mons oh my god that did so much damage to my gyarados oh yeah i forgot i didn't get the minus one on him so we get the dragon dance up but now that he has arcanine in the back he can switch in and intimidate us get us back down to neutral but i think it's more important that we outspeed him honestly because um even at just neutral and not plus one attack i think waterfall plus some attack will take the garchomp out but don't quote me on that. And also he has Muck here, which is not really threatening to either of my mons. So, what do I want to do here? I think he brings his Arcanine in. Actually, I don't think he's going to because I'm just going to Z-move. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to use my Z-move because he might protect either of his mons. So, it's kind of risky to use my Z-move right now. I'm just going to straight up double in to the Garchomp here. Unfortunately, I don't run HP Ice on my Neo Ligo. I run HP Fire. But oh my god, that Waterfall did so much. So it doesn't even matter what I would have went for. We would be taking him out. And he's not Scarf as we see there. Our, our plus one Gyarados is going to outspeed him. And he didn't switch in his Arcanine for the Intimidate. So Neo Ligo is just going to get that plus one special attack. The sweep has begun. Let's go, baby. And as you saw, my, shi my shiny Gyarados is chilling over there. Lurking with the ground DMZ. Oh no, but he fainted him. I, th I didn't think that would take us out. Because knockoff 
um, doesn't get boosted since we're holding the Z crystal, but he, he got just enough damage there to take us out, which is kind of scary. Um, because my, my, my Gyarados was running the ground crystal, whatever it's called, Tectonic Rage, so I could have O-Code that muck. Even with Arcanine coming in here for the Intimidate, I definitely would have taken out that muck because I already had the Dragon Dance boost, so if I could have just lived that knockoff, that's why getting the Intimidates are so important, because knockoff minus one does nothing to my Gyarados, but he got in after the Intimidate, was able to do a little bit more damage, so I'm going to go ahead and follow me here with Lucario. Just to lure him, bait him in, you know what I'm saying? And we'll go for the uh, the power gem onto Arcanine. I think. Eh, he might. He might just. He might just attack with Arcanine. Wanted to take the Lucario out. No, he protects. He makes the smart play and protects. However, um, I'm Sash, so no matter what attack this muck went for, I'm gonna be able to survive it, and I'm assuming this Arcanine will outspeed the Lucario, so I should be safe from whatever he wants to attack with. He's gonna go for the knockoff on muck. That's not gonna do anything, and he's lucky that I'm not justified, or I would've gotten a big damage close combat off on him, but anyway, go ahead and follow me again. I, I'm thinking he probably went for the knockoff onto Neoligo, but I'm just gonna power gem here into Arcanine. Let me make sure he doesn't have any... Well... I'm going to power jump into Arcanine because I don't want to over predict, predict some type of switching, go for the sludge bomb, then he stays in with Arcanine and then I, you know, don't Oko him and then he just takes us out for free. So actually the follow me is going to come through and I should outspeed this Arcanine. Neoligo is a monstrous threat so fast and so strong, especially once you start KOing things and getting that beast boost. We're chilling at plus two. We're the boostiest beast in the building. Knockoff coming through, but the follow me is going to protect us. Lucario is over half HP and now I do believe it's time for that Feeny the am I am I thinking yeah it's Tabu Feeny coming through as his last already revealed that to us that's gonna be another KO for our oh my god this is awesome because uh I can just maintain my safety keep going for follow me over and over and stop this muck from hurting me too bad and destroy this Tabu Fini with Sludge Bomb. He's going to have to get three protects off with his Tabu Fini before he can take out my Lucario with Knockoff. And I'm assuming his other attack is Poison Jab and probably Shadow Sneak. So no matter what, Knockoff is his best attack to go for on Lucario. And as you guys can see, it's doing not even 25% to us. I'm uh, going to go ahead and spam that follow me. It looks like he's not even protecting his Tabu Fini. Which is smart, because I think the best bet here is that he is like a salt vest Fini and he survives this somehow. But no, we're at plus two, and now we're at plus three special attack. What is a Tapu Fini to a knee? He Lego. Lego my ego, knockoff coming through, but it's not going to be enough damage, my friend. It's not going to be enough damage. And I really hope he doesn't forfeit here, but there's really no hope for him, so he might. But just in case he plays it out. Go to he'll go ahead and power gem into the muck here and try to get pick up my fourth KO. But he's just hold up, hold up, hold up. It. Come back, Alan. Not done with you yet. <laughs> GG Random Episode 3. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. I'm peace. Young Randall. 